Women are bitter because men don't want them. Mm. Yo. Yo. Yo, tell me what this is. Well. Yo, someone just sent me this. Yo, tell me what this is about. Women are bitter because men don't want them. Yeah, guys, women basically put themselves in this position through their actions and decisions that they've made. Watch to the end of the video to fully understand why women are so bitter because men don't want them anymore as more men embrace soft guy era. And now let's just go ahead and jump right back into the video. And just a quick mention, today's video is brought to us by Man Guide and his channel is linked in the description. You're not going to tell me what this is about? Bro, you... No, no, we're going to talk about this, bro. You... Talk about what? Gonna... Talk about what? It's a fucking party. A it's party? a party. No, 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 another nigga behind you? You're going to turn around and smile so at that? What? So what? No. So what? No. I no. paid to go in the party and dance. This is what happens when you go out with the girls? It's a it's fucking a party. It's a party? So what? No, nah, this, ain't, this ain't partying. This is something else. What is that? Notice, guys, how she lashes out at him with masculine energy as though he is in the absolute wrong to even question her. All right, this guy is, is very calm. He's basically like, listen, look at what this, look at this. You know, this is inappropriate. She tries to play it off at first and tries to go back to sleep and act like it's nothing. Then when he continues saying, no, what the heck is this? She lashes out at him and saying, it's a party. That's what you do at a party. You dance at a party. It's 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 sick. It's absolutely sick. You know? And imagine if he found out that she had hooked up with that guy or one of the guys at the party. She would cuss she would she would she'd curse him out as well. She'd tell him off as well. Because because she believes that in modern society, women can do whatever they want now. And they have a way of doing things where they'll basically change it around in their minds. To say that, yeah, it wasn't cheating. This doesn't count as cheating. Even if a man were to go and do something similar, you know, if, let's say they, the, the guy was on the receiving end of that, like you know, he was the one in, in initiating that. He was the one in the, in the in the in the white pants involved doing that, you know. And it was the other way around. They would say, "What the heck is this? This is cheating." You know, what were you doing with this woman at the party? And a man could not turn around and say that it wasn't cheating. This is this is how it is in twenty twenty four. It's about to say 2023. This is how it is in 2024. It's crazy. And women basically believe they can get away with whatever they want to and do whatever they want to. And men cannot say anything to them at all. It is damn silly Caribbean one. You, you, all of a sudden you're stupid. That is what we just do. We just dance. You call this dancing? This is a... <laughs> she belongs to the streets. Sarcasm aside, the last soundbite at the end was correct. She belongs to the streets. All of them do. All delusional females who think getting airbanged at the local bar is somehow the equivalent of a firm handshake. But for these women, delusion is the word of the day, the month, and the year. Here is the first set of comments. Just to be very clear, guys, regarding this, if she was there doing this at this party, I'm going to make it very clear to you, this wasn't the first time. You think this is the first time? It's kind of like when you have, you know, when you catch someone stealing, stealing from you. Like, you know, let's say you have a store or business and you catch someone stealing and they tell you, please, 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 I'll never do it again. And you say, no, I'm not going to give you a second chance. You know the reason why? Because it wasn't the first time they stole from you. All right. It was just the first time they got caught. This is not the first time she's done this. This is the first time she got caught. She's done this so many times that she doesn't even want to talk about it anymore. All right? She feels entitled to do it. She feels like this guy that she's with is not very bright. And she can do whatever she wants to. All right? If you think she hasn't been physically intimate with many other guys, forget about it. And notice that when he's just simply talking to her, how she, how she reacts how angry she becomes, how confrontational she becomes, how physical she becomes with the guy's phone even. 
This is one of the reasons why a lot of men are also saying that you should never live with someone. You should always be single. You can live with your boys, but do not live with someone that you're in a relationship with. All right? Women have put themselves in this position. When things go downhill, a lot of you are like, women will always have sims to bail them out. Not so much. Not so much. The simp economy is moving overseas. A lot of these women are not going to be able to find those beta male providers like they used to. I'm so serious. You think that they are, but it's not. Guys, when, when hard times really hit, it won't be a joke. Not the rub going on in this video. These women in the Western world have completely lost their minds. Trying to make sense of it, let alone staying in bed to argue, isn't going to solve anything. Check this one out. A few weeks ago, I almost drowned. There is this like jumping platform thingy that everybody was jumping on. So I thought, what the hell, I might as well try it too. It looks like fun. Apparently, I hit my head on the way down. I woke up lying on my back, back up on the platform, and this weird 40-year-old something, 40-year-old guy like pressing down on my chest. At first, I had no idea what was going on, but then the man who had revived me told me that I had been underwater for He said that he had been enough to get a hold of me down there. A small part of me was happy to be alive, but the rest of me was screaming inside. I can't believe he just felt that he had the right to just grab me under the water while I was not unconscious. I wasn't able to consent. He thought it was perfectly okay to just grab my body and pull me in whatever direction that he pleased. Guys, this is, and then you, guys, this has been happening for years. And then, and then you wonder why men are completely withdrawing from dating relationships in society, choosing to, in many cases, go MGTOW and say, we don't want to have, we don't want to be in relationships. We don't want to, we don't want to even be a part of society. We're just going to walk away and make, you know, just enough money to, or go our own way, make just enough money to survive and thrive and no more. MG, you know, MWAs, on the other hand, they're doing something very similar where they walk away from society and they go basically choose their alternatives. They're like, all right, you know what our best alter alternatives are? Our best alternatives are overseas. So if we want physical intimacy, we'll go overseas. If we want to date, we'll, or if we have to have a wife, we'll go overseas. She should be charged for pressing charges. This is just disgusting. Next. I just need to know from a men's perspective, are y'all waiting on girls to talk to you first? Like, are you waiting on a girl to ask you on a date first? I would say that by and large, a lot of men would be pleasantly surprised if a woman actually made the first move. Because that's crazy to me. Why? When this... The point is, leave women alone. They don't want you. Is the type of thing that countless men see every single day pushed on social media. Like when you're out in public and you're making eyes with a girl and you're like making it known that you're attracted to her, but you're not going to say something. How are you not going to say something? Because they keep hearing things like this. Stop stalking them, putting them in vulnerable situations to try to get in their pants. Is it becoming clearer yet? Where are the huevos? Where are the huevos these days? Oh, the huevos still exist. They're just playing it safe and avoiding individuals with this type of mentality. Each one of you are going to go to hell. And what man in his right mind wouldn't want to approach that? I think my man to be assertive and dominant. If you want to say something to me, say something to me. I think a lot of men are honestly just confused because that type of behavior has been called toxic masculinity. I'll give you the opportunity. I'll put my phone down. I'll drop the handkerchief. But I'm not going to do it first. Of course not. Because after all, that would just be too easy. Toxic masculinity is the kind of terminology that puts heroes behind bars and the crazies out on the streets. The last clip and this one make a nice pairing because this chick is wondering where all the assertive men have gone. But the answer is pretty damn clear when so many of these women are so lost they're willing to press charges for a bump in the hallway, let alone saving their lives. Sweetheart, no man is going to come up to you because it's a losing game. Instead, they're going to focus on things that won't ruin their lives. Here are some of the comments. Single equals peace. Women, leave women alone. Men, leaving women alone and now living peaceful. Women, why won't men ask us out? Is it because you're afraid and weak? Men, continues to live in peace. Enjoy your cats and your bears. Wise men say, when one girl yell for approaching and others yell because you're not approaching, both girls are unapproachable. Well, damn, I don't exactly have to say she pretty much nailed it. She really did, actually. Now, guys, think about this. You you have women who are like, don't you know, don't approach women. Good, but if we're if men are not supposed to approach us, how do we approach you? It's quite simple. Don't approach us either. 
Because if you're not the kind of woman that is approachable by any man, then we don't want you to approach us. If you're not approachable, if you're not an approachable person, then we don't want to deal with you. If you're not the kind of person that a guy in a wheelchair can approach and ask on a date, and you can you can politely decline it if you just don't find him enter him uh, attractive or you know a, you know someone that you want to date and do it in a way that he walks away feeling good about the interaction and not like uh, not terrible. If you're not someone who's approachable by anyone, then the average man doesn't want you. If you're nasty to people, if you have a history of being disrespectful and rude to men, and men know about this, they're not going to want to deal with you. Men don't want people like that in their lives. If you are nasty to other men, the average man will not, will not want to have anything to do with you. Millionaires will not want to have anything to do with you. All right? NFL players will not want to have anything to do with you because they are still men. Okay? Guys, all this is only all this is going to lead to is more men avoiding relationships, dating, and women finding themselves unable to find a man to subsidize their living and ending up in places like shelters, you know, ending up in poverty, shelters, homeless, living in the streets, living in their cars, living in the woods, because inflation is too damn high right now. Food prices are too damn high. Everything costs way too much. And it's just continuing to go up, go up, go up. Women can women were not designed to live without husbands, and now they're going to be experiencing significant conference consequences as things move forward. And by the way, guys. If you guys are interested in learning more, subscribe to our newsletter for my personal thoughts, insights, and a free copy of my ebook, The Blueprint for Escaping the Rat Race. Click the link in the description to get your free copy. And also subscribe to the Angry Guy Clips channel where I post shorter videos and video responses. And also the Angry Guy Live channel where I, we lit, where we live stream. Both channels are linked in the description. What do you guys think regarding all of this? Women are bitter because men don't want them. Let me know your thoughts and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video, and just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.